Okay, I'm going to try a little something here. I have an old Samsung. I think this, uh, I'll, pu I'll put the uh, model number of this in text. But this is an old Samsung tablet that I've had for a few years. And the battery uh, won't take a charge. So I went on Amazon. And this just came in the mail today. And I have to say this is, uh, this is risky to do because if you think about it, it would be very easy for unscrupulous people to resell batteries that are in fact not new. They could be just as old as the one that's going bad. But we'll see this company here offered this battery. This one has removal tools with it. Huh. They offered th this battery that's supposed to match this particular model for about $17. Let's see, they look very similar. The old battery the number on the old battery, let's see, I need to uh, change the light here a little bit. Get this in the light. There's the number on the old battery. SP460C3 something or other. Here's the battery that's supposed to be new. They both seem to have the same number. Four hundred milliamps. So there's really no way to tell. In fact, I have to be careful not to mix them up. It's an identical battery. This one has the original serial number from the factory. So, we'll be putting this battery back into here. Seems to fit just fine. Wait a second. Maybe it doesn't. Yep. So I'll put this battery in here. There we go. It's plugged back in. And I will attempt to charge it and see if it works. The plug is just a little press fit plug. So I'll be quite interested to see if it brings new life to the old tablet. Okay, I have discovered that the trays, the new one, the quote unquote new one that I purchased on Amazon, this tray, this plastic outer tray, uh, the screw holes are smaller. The little holes in here on these tabs are smaller. So what I'm gonna do is try to take the tray from the old battery off and swap it with the tray for the new battery, which is irritating. And definitely shows that this is not a factory product. There would be no reason for the tray not to work if it was. So we'll just peel this up and see how difficult it is to get this battery out of here. It might be hard because the wires go through a slot here and I believe the battery is kind of I don't think it's necessary to screw the battery in here even because when the back is on there it would hold it 
securely enough anyway, but just for my own interest, I'm going to see if it can be done. Well, it fits, but uh, I don't know whether it was worth it just to be able to screw the thing back in. I don't think it was. secure enough. I'm just going to install these screws and plug it in and see what happens. So until then, goodbye everyone. Okay, before when I would plug it in, it would simply uh, cycle on and off and tell me that the battery was too low. So I assumed that the battery was bad. So we're going to plug it in here with this new battery. We have the battery emblem coming up. And it says it's charging. So we'll leave it alone for a while and see if it fully charges. And we might be back in action. I want to be careful not to touch this while it's plugged in. So we'll see. If so, it's a $17 or $18 fix. Okay, so we've got the 100% charge, which means I'm going to go ahead and put the back 
back on this because there's nothing else I can do. It either will work or it will not. So let's see if we can get the back. It's being very responsive, so that is a good thing. Whoops. You probably should take the card out of it before you... Try to snap it back together, let's see. Yeah, it's much easier to put back together without the card. Oh, wow, look at that. We're back in action. Neat. It's running really well. Like I say, I have no idea how long it'll last, but uh, if it lasts for a year, it'll be worth it. Thank you.